Guess who's back? Back again. These goons are back. Don't tell your friends, but tell your nan. God damn, look at this shit. Oh, God, I hate people. Honestly, I just hate human beings. You know when we keep getting towards nuclear war and people are scared? I'm fucking like, yeah, roll on, boys. I'm taking sleeping pills just to speed up the process, just so we can get to that day quicker. I can't wait to see the final sunset. <laughs> and just bang. Vladimir drops his big arse cheek nuke 3000, and we all get to go and fly to heaven. Or, you know, me personally, I'd hide in my bunker, so you guys are all going to die. I've got, you know, rations. I've got guns. I've got power armor. I'm fucking set, dude. But one group of individuals I hope get taken out first are these donkeys. Now, if you notice something about them, they all have a particular haircut and a particular hair color. Do you suffer from a lack of a father figure? I would call it the lesbo trim. Now, you can call it what you want, but more importantly, these idiots wasted a full tin of tomato soup. Now, I'm not sure what they do back where in Paris, en français, we do not uh, waste uh, le tomato. You know, it's like if someone broke a, a, a baguette in front of them. They probably have a heart attack. I have a heart attack watching that. I mean, look at this. No one likes pool anyway, snooker, whatever. <laughs> I'm joking, I love snooker, especially eight ball pool, that's the best version of it. But I truly believe if someone blocks your road uh, with their car, I think you should be able to use violence. I do, I don't think you should obviously kill them and no punching, but I think maybe we should have like slaps. You know, firm hits, you know, maybe grab them by the throat and tell them to GTF out the way. You know, you've got mama monk over here like, bitch, it's too late. You're the generation that causes fucking pain and travesty and death and misery. Just sitting and blocking cars causing more fuel is not going to save anyone, you... You dumb bum. You stupid. You sit. You got grandpa here ruining Wimbledon. Dick. You know, oh, yes, we'll block roads and cause more pollution to come out of cars. You have no idea how life works. So, welcome to Stonehenge. One of the greatest monuments of all time. Destroyed within seconds by orange sand nuclear dust that apparently they, they tweeted that it dissolves but I don't give a fuck I mean firstly why are you arriving in them pants your grandma knitted them for you grab him by the throat don't be so gentle and choke slam the cunt this is WWE Randy Orton I want to see him die bitch sit there you know I would kick him in the face honestly I would I'd just break his fucking glasses and just pfft, shit on him when I finished as well honestly I would now that might be seen as slightly mean but I, I truthfully believe an eye for an eye you've destroyed one of the most precious monuments in human history how the fuck did them stones get there giants people with telekinesis telekinetic powers i think so bro no way no slaves brought them shit up now nah, bro it's got to be something cooler i'm thinking gene gray maybe went back in time and did some weird shit well, i don't know maybe the hulk was around back there i don't i don't have the answer stop asking me but you get gimpo gunos like this ruining our lives blocking the streets shitting on monuments because it makes them feel like a big deal i'm going to change the course of history and i've been learning recently that one person can change the course of history actually i've been playing fallout new vegas now say what you want about fallout new vegas it's actually a fucking great game but it's actually kind of true you know this one guy can change the whole of history you're not going to be that one guy though bro you're not courier six you two are two titties with terrible dress sense and you know so I, how do you get that there you know I'm, i just I, I don't understand this but me personally i love a conspiracy theory i love absolute conspiracy nutters and crazy things like that but this is not a conspiracy <laughs> You hear everyone in the background, stop it, no, give it up, save us. One theory I want to explore, and I, I actually believe this now, because no way this is, not, you know, eight months ago they said this, and this is just what I believe even more. Just Stop Oil is secretly funded by big oil companies. In order to make the public apathetic and unsympathetic to all green movements, big oil companies sponsor Just Stop protests in unproductive ways and disrupt day life for common people. Their protests gather media attention by the flock, which is true. I'm an idiot making another video. There's loads of articles about it. It's all over Twitter. Nigel fucking Farage is tweeting about it. They're always painted in a stupid low intelligence bad light as if and acclimate the general public that all green movements are stupid. Which is not true. I just don't think you should block fucking people on the way to work. It's not the right thing to do. For example, I, I, I used to be a recycle. Well, I still recycle, you know. But like back in primary school, I remember I was part of the recycle team. I used to pick up everyone's paper on a Friday to recycle it because, you know, we're good people, inverted commas. And then, you know, I started to grow a brain and realise, actually, we're too late. This is fucked. The people ruining the country and the planets that we live on are the celebrities. You know, Taylor Swift getting a private 
jet for her McDonald's drive-thru is what is destroying us. You know what I mean? Me forgetting to rinse out my tin of beans and put it in the recycling. Instead of putting it in my green bin, I put it in my fucking rainbow bin because it's gay pride and they want to make it even more confusing. It's not going to save the planet. You know what I mean? It's too freaking late, boys. This has got to be something drastic. You know what I mean? Oil, we've overused it 100 years ago and now we're reaping the precautions, bro. Polar bears are having to take swimming lessons because they're drowning. Penguins are like, fucking hell, there's too much water. I mean, Venice in Italy is going to be underwater, so if you fancy going there, I'd get your holidays within the next five to ten years because soon there ain't going to be no Venice to go to. Uh, what else is probably going to end? But anyway, yeah, you know, I think that's a great theory. You know what I mean? They're resulting in patent organisation could advantage with the same nuance. The general public becoming less and less involved in actual organisation. And that's probably right. I don't give a fuck. It's not that far-fetched. Just up on those did facts about Aileen Getty, the granddaughter of Jean Paul Getty, founder at the Getty Oil Company. <gasps> Try to say that without breathing. Though it could, be, she generally is disgusted by how her generational wealth was acquired. See, that could be true. You know what I mean? I feel like, for what I know about, she does a lot of philanthropy diverse from her family's legacy. So she's actually trying to, like, you know, make amends. Maybe she is. But I think they honestly create false movements to kill. Literally, I was going to say that, and I basically just copied him. The fucking donk. Stop stealing my thoughts. Eight months ago, you prick. They create basically false movements, don't they, to make that the real ones, the proper ones that actually have an effect, seem rubbish and useless and a waste of everyone's time. Now, I have to admit, I want the planet to succeed. I have nieces. I, you know, maybe one day I'll have kids. I want them to not grow up in a nuclear wasteland or some sort of dump of a Mad Max sort of shitty world. You know what I mean? That's, I'm not going to, that's not what we want. But from what I've seen, JOS, so just stop oil presses, all seem to be normal people. And by normal, I mean the sort of people who would buy protests and doing this sort of thing. Young activists, university students. I've seen a few videos of protests where I'm not sure I could tell that certain people actually paid protests. They all looked old and basically homeless, but were the most aggressive there. I have to admit, just look at these guy no offense not being stereotyped that guy looks like a university student who can't afford his beans on toast so he's had to do this what's this guy doing you know what i mean talking about looking at like he doesn't belong this guy does not look like he belongs anywhere you know to be do with just oil he, he probably can't even spell just stop oil you know maybe slightly rude but they did this to stop the popularization of nuclear weapons years ago oil companies are disgusting remember how carbon footprint was a term coined by people to shift responsibility onto the consumer exactly carbon footprint and they're trying to bring out this carbon and footprint shit, aren't they? So that, ugh, it's disgusting. Especially, like in Australia, they're trying to make it so that all that shit is basically linked to your bank account so you can actually see what you're doing. Look, it's, it's an absolute disgrace. It's a disgrace that they do this and it's even more of a disgrace that this could be some big conspiracy. Because let's be real, after COVID, after everything that's happened these sort of past five to ten years, would you be surprised? Nine. No. Yet. Nine. Nine. No, I would not. See, like these guys, these look like university students who needed a quick book and were like, all right, I'll do it. You know what I mean? Throw some beans on, we'll make sure you don't get arrested, this this sort of stuff. Worth thinking about, but, you know, I think these people who block the roads are generally just morons. I, I truly do believe they just were not raised by a love mother I, I just think they were treated like dog shit and maybe you know left you know left outside in the dog kennel and the dog was allowed on the bed i don't know i don't have the answers but all i know is that they're idiots and they do not deserve any sort of sympathy yeah the world it needs to change but you're not going to do it and yeah you need to oh, it's him again he was right there wasn't he i mean look he looks pretty fucking similar doesn't he Look at this guy. Yeah, that's him, isn't it? That's, that's him. Mm, that's weird, isn't it? I mean, life over profit, and he's in that one. Do you think he's just, you know, a favourite? Maybe he's in the top band of memberships, you know what I mean? Pays for the gold plus platinum membership. There he is. That's definitely that donkey, wasn't it? Yeah, good, good work, boys. You're changing the world one day at a time. I hate my life. Jesus, Lord. Someone just end it. End the suffering.